Hey guys, it's King Rebel here coming to you with another video. Good morning and thank you to, to all my new subscribers. If you would continue to like my comment, please just like, subscribe, share, be respectful in the comment. Usually I respond, I, I'll respond at night mostly if I get a chance. Sometimes I don't see them and then I'll go back and then I'll see the comments and I'll respond. It's just like yesterday I was, my, my video was to the Krishan's um, fan base that you don't have to like what I put out. I'm not making nothing. I'm not... Um, I'm not making nothing up. I'm not editing her words. I'm not putting in words. I'm just giving my opinion like everybody else. The only difference is my opinion is to the other side of what everybody else is saying. While everybody else is praising and cuddling and condoning and making excuses, I'm just saying, hey, she has she has choices. She has resources. She could do better. That's where I'm coming from. Now, it seemed passionate and it because I had one of her fans come in my comment writing a whole essay that somebody took out, out took the essay out of my comments because I responded. And I was like, okay, fear, you know, everybody's not going to agree with my opinion. I'm okay with that. Do your big one. But don't be writing me essays and talk about, oh, where you guys are from, from the the diff because I'm a foreigner, all this stuff, and you guys think whatever you you you're making it you're making it seem like I said something that's a lie. Then talking about oh you don't have the facts. Everything I post on there is usually facts. Now me going through and giving my opinion is my opinion, but most of the time I post factual stuff. I put the receipt and I stretch it out in the video. So if you don't listen and look, you will see most of my receipts are in the video. I didn't force her to do anything she did. I didn't force her to do anything she did. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, her mother was this, her father was that. So it's everybody's fault that she does what she does. But her, that makes no sense to me because everybody's not going to stand before the judge. It's going to be her. Nobody's, they're not going to take her mom to court for hitting James. They're not going to take her dad, her brother, her sister. They're not going to sit there and say, oh, by the way, judge, you know, she had a hard upbringing. So let's excuse the fact that she's popping people in the face and busting people's mouth and stuff. Oh, judge, by the way, you know what? She got a baby by this dude that just drags her on the internet. So, you know, that's the reason why she's acting out. So let's pat her on the shoulder. Oh, judge, you know what? That's not what's going to happen. Blueface took the charge for the, the um, Las Vegas thing with the girl because he did take the girl phone and he decided to take on the rest of the charges. That's fine. These rest of the charges, everybody's not going to pick up Krishan's up. And I get it. You guys want to love her? Love her. Nothing is wrong with that. She gets more love than she gets hate. The reason why people are starting to spin on her and turn is because people are seeing, okay, this is an act. This is you just want to be you. It's just like when you have people that it doesn't matter how much you give them, they don't want to do better. It's no matter how much you show them and talk to them, they don't want to do better. It might be the same thing in her case. And that's fine. But don't sit here and talk about, oh, you guys are talking about her and she could remove your content. Uh, it's fair use. And by the way, she goes online for a reason. It's not like somebody goes into her house and steal her content. It's not like somebody's putting a bling bling on her and be like, oh, I need you to make this recording by force. Cut it out. You guys just talk out of feelings. You guys are not factual with your statement. Like I say, you don't have to like what I say. You just have to be respectful about it. But talking about, oh, because I'm a because I'm a nurse, I shouldn't be talking like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One thing has nothing to do with the other. But she can talk like that because she grew up like that. So it's okay for her to talk crazy. It's okay for her to pop people. It's okay for her to be neglectful because she grew up a certain way. But because I have a profession, I shouldn't talk the way I talk. Please. I will pop my shit just like she pop hers. And when I'm on the floor, you best believe, like I said, your chance of survival is great when I'm on the floor. Because what I do, I do great. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I hold some standard that I don't hold. Or I'm just blind to, oh my God, I'm a nurse. And, and, and yeah, yeah, a lot of us talk behind table, have table talks. A lot of us talk stuff. Some of us can't even talk stuff because y'all want to chew people out and tell them, oh, you're this, you're not supposed to be that. You're, I'm, I did not come out and say that I didn't profess to be God. 
I did not come on this internet and profess to be a saint. I did not come on this internet and profess to be holier than thou. I did not come on here and said I didn't come from say that oh I had all the answers and I had the best upbringing. That's not what I said. I said I came from rough times, but I pushed through it. I didn't let it stop me from being better. I made sure I remember where I came from so I don't forget and remember how I am. So I always move accordingly. So I don't talk to people like they're beneath me. But if you get in my comment and want to talk your shit, then I'm going to talk it back. Because yes, I'm human. Now, if she has a right when people get in her in her comments to talk mess, she has a right to defend it. But she's been talking mess for a minute. And it's just cuddling and cuddling and cuddling. So now, going forward today, because I wanted to talk about Tory Lanez. There's some stuff going on that I'm trying to get to. But every time I try to get to it, it's something else with her. And, and, and it's neither here nor there. I'll get to it. So today, James filed his l- lawsuit. I guess he's suing her. Remember all this money talk she's talking and all this stuff? And don't get me wrong. I think that's one of the reasons, again, why Krishan is not performing anything. Because she knew these things were coming. And I see people are complaining about, oh, it's Tamar's fault. Again, you guys are sitting here and making excuses for why she's doing what she's doing. Tamar does not have to go to court on the 27th of February. Tamar is not getting sued by James. The, the hairdresser, her former hairdresser from Zeus is the also suing her. She, these people are not going to, it's not going to be Zeus that's getting sued. It's her. It's her actions that getting her in trouble. It's the cuddling and excusing getting her in trouble. And by the way, let me correct, because one thing about me, if I'm wrong, I'll come and correct it. The paperwork I showed was not so much a warrant because it's a two-page paper and I have it on my desk. So she has to appear in court because because she popped James and the, the police did their interview and they did their report and they put their, presented their evidence to the DA. The DA picked up the case. So while everybody's over there talking about, oh, it's Tamar fault, it's Tamar fault. And when the wife showed the video with the with the ring, because when you look at the charges and I will put it back here in this and I'll take a better picture because um, I'll put it in this in video. When you look at the, the picture, when I was showing the ring, because that's where he she popped him with her hands with the ring. And when she stuck her middle finger while she was in a car, when the next day she got on the video with Kay Salve talking about, oh, it's some wicked thing happening and she don't know why people are making up stuff. Then after that, she went and took her ass on DJ Skiles live. And talking about, oh, they can't press no charges. They can't sue me because nothing happened. And DJ Sky was there lying. You had Marsh and Jay in the back. I think I believe I heard Jay in the back. They were all lying. And that's what I'm saying is the people around her that's condoning this foolishness. Is the people around her that's making this thing okay. When Jay don't have to go to court, Marsh don't have to go to court. DJ Sky don't have to go to court. But they should drag her ass in for that live she posted where she sat there and lied. That, oh, I didn't, she didn't hit nobody. And she, yeah, okay. But see, everybody want to get up here and cuddle and make believe that everybody's being bad and mean to Krishan. Y'all need to hold her accountable because if her family was holding her accountable again, if they were holding her accountable, if people was not pushing through her lies and excusing her lies and excusing her behavior, she probably would have been better now. But you know what? You guys said she's 23, right? She's young, right? She'll get it together. She better. She better because when she had the baby and was on live talking about, you're not going to take my baby, bro. You're not going to take my baby. When the state take her away from her baby, it won't be blue face fault. But y'all will find a way to blame that Negro. You'll find a way to blame James for getting popped because you have. You have blamed Tamar for her popping James. You have blamed everybody but the person that's going to stand in front of the judge. You guys are in these comments swinging left, tussling, right, life, literally writing books, trying to justify her behavior. When she t- told y'all, she don't need to be saved. She told y'all. Then y'all get in my comments and talk, oh, she's talking about the people that are trolling her. How long do you think somebody's going to keep sticking you, putting shit in your eye before you said, okay, this is shit and they're doing this on purpose? There's no, oh, her family, her father, there's no excuse, bro. I don't care what you guys say, there's no excuse. And I'm not mad for her because what she's, what she's reaping, what she, she's going to sow what she, she's going to reap what she sow, sorry. And thank you guys. Applaud yourself. Put yourself on the back because things are going to get crazy for her. Again, 2024 is a year of revealing and truth.
See all that lion I missed that was swinging and was oaking. You guys were chumping it and following her and chumping it. And old oh, Blueface was this and Blueface was that. He ain't shit. And he ain't shit. He ain't shit. Nobody could tell me otherwise. But he also has, that's why he's sitting where he's sitting. So you have two parents on probation. Two. Him and her. He's in probation in what? Two states? She's probation in one, I believe. She also has a probation. So she violated her probation by hitting James. While you guys are sitting here making excuses, she violated her probation by hitting James. She couldn't get in no altercation or anything. But we are going to run with the excuses. Run with them. Run with them. Just be respectful. You don't have to agree with me. That's not my, why I'm here. I'm not crazy. I don't need the pills. I don't need you guys riding for me. I need you guys to open your eyes, get outside, touch the ground, touch the grass, Put your hand outside, breathe fresh air, and take yourself out of Krishan behind. Because unless y'all plan on doing her time and y'all can't, what's the point? Am I telling you guys to go to her page and be mean to her? Am I telling you all to cuss her out? The, the person on my page was talking about, oh, what is this going to do for her? Do you think she sees my life? She go look at stuff that she like that talks good about her. But when she start doing, saying stuff like, oh, I'm a cover the tattoo. Oh, I gave away the chain. She do that to pacify y'all, not me. Because she still have to live in her truth. And the truth is she needs help. She needs to heal. So she could be a better version for her and her child. Not for me. Not for y'all. But for her and her child. But yet it's, oh, y'all are angry. Y'all are me. Y'all dragging at 23 years old. She's just a child. She's so young. She's a mom. She has postpartum. Y'all talking mess. But y'all diagnosing her. Y'all diagnosing her with postpartum. Didn't she say postpartum where? But I'm the nurse. I'm a professional. But y'all, y'all gave me a whole heap of things that's wrong with her. Postpartum? Oh, y'all could diagnose her from this. So that's the excuse we're going. Since we're going with postpartum excuse, I'll share a story. When I was working at CIW, that's a woman prison in California. Since the person wanted to talk about my um, work ethics and all that stuff, I work with people that you will never be in rooms with anyway. The lady was on in prison because... She had postpartum depression. She keep having babies and keep having babies and nobody addressed it. One day the husband came home. He asked her, where's the baby? She turned around and cooked the child and fed it to the husband. So when you guys sit down here and think I'm talking stuff that I don't know. I've been through things and I've seen things. I'm hearing things. It's not that I'm guessing. When I'm talking, it's not because I'm guessing. It's because I've walked there, sit there, sit next to these people. In the prison cell, in the prison hospital, hearing the stories, reading documents, trying to follow where, where did it go wrong. But you know what? You guys, were not, nobody excused that. She had to do time, right? She had to do time. She has to do time. But yet you sit here and act like because I'm a nurse, oh, it, excuse me from making a damn assessment of somebody's character. Who she is is who she is. She talked to y'all like crap. And it's like, oh, no, it's not us. It's the ones that are being rude to her. Everybody's not going to like what she says. That's why I'm not mad that everybody don't like what I say. I am mad that you guys want to get in my comments and give me dissertation and thesis and excuses from somebody that's a walking, living human being that got out of it. That either it, the person said it was the wrong way. Yeah, but God blessed her to get out of it. She was supposed to take the blessing and turn it around. She was supposed to take the blessing and turn it around. Not get on here trying to talk about war that she just caught on to because she realized she's losing fans when she told you she didn't care. Not talking about stuff that her sisters and them excuse her with. Because even though I saw one of the YouTubers talking about, oh, they like her sister. That one that she was talking to, Tareen. She's the one that upholding most of the shit anyway. She's the one that upholding the shit anyway. And that's why Tasiki had put that in a comment on the Zeus page. You guys are older. You're supposed to hold her accountable and correct her. But they won't do that. See, money makes you do strangest things. Y'all don't even have the money she has in talking mess. Well, I don't know. Some of y'all don't, for sure. Everybody can't have the money talking all this mess. So to the ones that are her fans and are encouraged, it, keep on encouraging it now. See, all the shit she's done, doing, and has done is coming to, to, to the, 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 um, what do you call it? The um, they're coming in to cash in. They're trying to cash in. They want their payday now. They want her little behind. They want it on a platter. Is she gonna keep running? Then who's gonna save her baby, bro? Who's not gonna take her baby away from her if she keep running, bro? She has a freaking violation probation. She's on probation. She violated her probation. 
She's out here doing foolishness on the internet, playing with y'all because the internet is where she lives. That's where she makes her money. Playing with y'all. She's rich. She don't have to do none of this stuff according to her. She's rich. But see, even me, even I don't believe that. Because people that has money don't talk about money. So I know that enough. But she never had. So she talks about it to try to, try to belittle people. Like, oh, I'm rich. You're not. Oh, I'm here. You're watching me. You'll never have this much followers. This is stuff that she says to y'all. That y'all probably be sitting there and be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not going to argue back and forth with no fans about their, their favorite. If you get in my comments, say what you want to say. I'm just going to pass it up. Ignore it. Or if I see it comes off of my page. Because there's a thing on my thing that will take your comment off my page. So be it. I'm not worried about it. Just know that when I come in here and make my commentary, it's because the, the the stuff is on the internet. Just know I don't go looking for Krishan. It comes up on my feed. Just know I don't go stalking her page. I don't go to her page. It comes up on my feed. Because I'm not sitting here wishing night and day, oh my God, I wish this. and No, I don't. She's a human being. So my compassion goes as far as hers go. She don't care. I don't care. It's her life. She's going to sit, have to sit with the choices. Just like Blueface has to sit with the choices. That child has two parents that are walking around this earth like they're untouchable and that they won't pay the cost. Again, you've heard me say this if you listen to my video. You won't pay on the front. You have to pay, but some people will pay on the front and some people will pay on the back. But when you pay on the back, it's the interest. She's going to keep on paying on the back because you guys want to sit there and... Believe me, I'm not saying, again, Don't I'm not telling people go to her comment and bash her. Because I don't go to her comment and bash her even when she's on live. Sometimes I see the comment and I'm like, okay, I look at it and I keep it going. I'm not going to bash her. But I will talk out the stuff that she's doing. I will bring it to light because there's young girls looking at it. That's my only reason for bringing it to light. Because people have been in situation. There's people, everyday people that's been in word that's been essay word that came up from a terrible um, upbringing that been through things that she's been through but you know what they did they pick themselves up and they make sure they get it together a lot of them didn't get hollywood on their um they didn't get thrown into hollywood they didn't get thrown into the spotlight they did not get that they have to work for it get it out the mud they had to go do their nine to five, hustle and bustle, make it happen. Some people came from so so bad and humble beginnings that the way they are right now, you wouldn't know the story because they didn't let that be their destruction. They passed their destruction was not their present destruction. But yeah, you did. I tell it. It's okay. Again, last time rambling on it, I'm just here to put again. I want to. It's a flashback of when she hit the, the 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 after she hit James and she she deleted her um Instagram page and she got on Sky Live and she was talking about oh let him press charges let them sue let them sue they're lying they want her clout now see she talk a lot of mess and y'all believe her the guy girl is a walking liar and she lie more than a rug and a liar has no memory but y'all don't want to hear that so I'll let her talk pop her shit after my commentary, you will hear her and you can look at the screen, the screenshots and see what I'm talking about. Y'all have a nice one. Um, I don't think I'll try and do the tour lanes. Um, there's some information with tour lanes that I want to talk about. I'll try and post that later. And there's some other stuff that I want to post. I'll try and get to it. Thank you again for subscribing. Like, comment, be respectful in the pages. You don't have to agree with me. You could be respectful and don't agree with me. That's not my problem. Just don't be writing books telling me what's what's her past like and this is the reason she's at she is again her sis ex sister in law is a mental health coach she has her own business she was there with her at the hospital she was trying to teach her the way she got on the live and lied to y'all and said she's in therapy if she's in therapy and here again let me talk about stuff i know therapy is a tool that you use it's a tool you use it you don't get on your page and talk about people broke and y'all and drink and smoke pot and talk about, oh, y'all jealous and she richer and she can make y'all rich and all this yin stuff that she be talking about. She has the resources in her backyard, in her back pocket. A lot of people wish they would cook. A lot of people, and I know a lot of people don't like to go to therapy. It's a taboo conversation, but therapy helps. It really helps because it helps you unlock stuff. All she got to do is sit back off the internet and heal. That's it. That's all. Heal. 
bitch, y'all reward bad behavior. And since y'all in my comment talking about her, oh, I don't know her relationship with God and God. Man reward, God award. But there's a difference and y'all won't know that. But till next time, peace. It's a public service announcement. Listen, I'm going to need y'all to stop with the fake phone. First of all, the DJ had all the music. Krishan already had the mic. There's videos now circulating all over YouTube <laughs> where we were already prepared right. to perform. Mind you, remember when you came, when she came backstage? It's ill how the outfit was being like that. It's so bad. It's cool. No, it's not, cool. <laughs> it's not cool. It's not cool. It's cool. Maybe that's for their career. It's not cool. Because they don't have it. It's all right. So looking forward. It's not that serious. Bro, you see me? I'm trying to read the comments. I'm trying to see what I'm talking about. You want to beat me again? So listen, y'all. They're saying you need to take legal action. But here's the thing. Okay, but no, 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 no. Listen to this. There's a lot about legal action. Why did not press any charges? Here's the thing. Why were there no... He didn't press no charges. Why were there no... No, it's not even that.
And nobody want really. All right, cool. All right. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going back to that shit when I don't follow. Nobody on Instagram. I'm sorry. Everybody, the only person I want to fuck with is my son. Y'all, bro, this Instagram shit is over with. That culture is over with. Me being cool with, because they hit me up and reached out to me, it's over with. Y'all, it's weird. If you want clout, give you some. We can do other shit that's way more positive and more effective for this community. Shitting on me for the community is crazy. Bitch, you're not even grown. You're acting like a fucking kid. A dumbass one. Straight up. Everybody dumb as shit. Straight up. And I'm popping my shit with somebody else Instagram because that got me fucked up. <laughs> Oh, no, they, they know to come to my page. Fuck out of here, bro. Fuck out of here. Just fuck out of here, bro. Fuck out of here. Y'all got me fucked up. New mom. I started a new journey. Don't even get drunk. None of that shit like that no more. Like, what? Y'all trying to play with my character. Play with my... Go ahead and try to press charges that you can't press. Go ahead and file a lawsuit that you can't even file a lawsuit on. You know why? Because I am covered, bro. Covered by God, bro. That's real shit. So everybody that got something to say about it, I swear to God, y'all already sucking it. Fuck, y'all sucking it too much. Yeah, take it away. Fuck that. Real shit. Nigga, keep up with why I'm in Atlanta, nigga. Now y'all gonna see how 